So you unscrew it just a couple turns, whoop, whoop, and then out slides your palette. And then you have 16 wells here. Style video and um, I just was gonna show you a little bit of what I were working finishing my new Oracle deck and an Oracle deck if you're not familiar with what that is um, is really just a series of cards that an artist has worked on and they create their own kind of world and definitions around those and for me this Oracle deck is really about helping you connect um, with your own emotions and connect with the natural world around you. It's a great way to pull a card for a journaling prompt in the morning or um, to just kind of help another layer of introspection and um, beauty into your life. So um, that's what I was showing you, um, the cards, and there's gonna be 48 cards. I'm gonna do a Kickstarter. Um, it will be later this year. I'm still working on all the final, final finishing touches with it. And um, you can go ahead and click on my Kickstarter and follow it to be notified when it goes live. So if you're interested in this deck at all, I um, suggest you go over there and do that. And that way, whenever I do launch the Kickstarter, you can be notified. Doesn't mean that you have to support it, but um, it'll be another, you know, you can see what it's, what it's really like. I'm gonna do a little video for that. So, and I'm also working on some more wooden palettes. Um, Brie has been doing an amazing job filling her sketchbook, so please go over to Documented Journeys YouTube channel, check out what she's doing. Her Patreon's amazing. If you love working in your sketchbook, she has a sketchbook club there um, where she they get together on Zoom and paint pages and have inspiration. Like it's just awesome. Um, I have an online sketchbook. Um, class that you can do at your own pace and whenever you like. Um, I'm still adding classes to it ever so often. Um, so there's a couple different options if you if you want some inspiration for working in your sketchbook and what to fill the pages with. But I've also been working on some more of my wooden palettes. palettes this one is coming soon. It's a really funky, unique one. Um, it's got a little thumb hold there too, so you can hold it. And then I've got some really beautiful walnut pieces, some different designs that I've been doing, like this one as well. It's got larger palettes and then some smaller ones, but these are still really nice large sizes. Comparable to a half pan, like a plastic half pan, definitely these are similar to like the metal full pans, um, but probably a little bit more with the depth of these. Um, these are also probably similar to your plastic half pan. This one's out of Tulip Poplar. It has little um, feet on the bottom. All these do. And you can put your thumb hold there if you want to hold your palette and paint. But it's also just another place you can put your brush there. And then I also have this little little cedar one, which is nice and lightweight and beautiful. So it's a little chunky, but it's very, very lightweight for travel. Um, with 13, this is actually the palette that I use when I teach classes in person because I think 13 colors is really just the most fun amount. You don't need that many, but it's a really fun amount to have. And then I also have this really special one that's not finished yet, but it'll be coming to my shop soon. Um, my dad has been working with me. Um, when I started these palettes, I was um, working in his wood shop. And then he is so creative that every once in a while he shows up and he has his own designs that he has put together. And this one I haven't finished, so it'll be beautiful and um, have like a really nice sheen to it. But it has this screw top. It's just a friction screw. So you unscrew it just a couple turns, whoop, whoop. And then out slides your palette. And then you have 16 wells here. So these are medium sized wells. Um, and you can put all sorts of colors in this. And then you put them back in a box. It's a really, really well designed box. So you put this back in the box, you screw this down just until it kind of tightens. So then the palettes don't fall out. When you unscrew it, you know, sometimes with like paint, if it gets sticky and stuff in there, if they're not coming out easily, there's also a hole there. So you can put your, the end of your paper in and help 
nudge that out just in case you know every once in a while a palette gets a little sticky but yeah I really really love this so I can't wait to share that soon so that'll be coming to the shop very very soon and hopefully it'll be there by the time you see this video yeah so that's all I've just been working and painting and finishing up the last card for the deck um, I've been working on them in very very large scale and then they'll shrink down to very very small and nice and compact but I hope you're doing well thank you so so much for those of you that have been placing orders on my website that really keeps me going um, especially since all my work mostly right now is just preparation work for what's to come so having having um, a little income while I'm working on that has been y'all have no idea it's I really need it and I really really appreciate it so thank you from the bottom of my heart thanks for watching my video um, sorry I'm a little congested I'm getting over being sick but yeah I hope you all have a bright beautiful day and I will share a new video with you very soon it'll be a sketchbook tour I'm gonna finish up a sketchbook but until then go watch breeze and I'll talk to you soon bye